Greetings everyone, Digital Extremes have released three developer workshops in regards to the upcoming update 30.5 Sisters of Parvos update. This video will be covering the Parazon rework announced changes with the developer workshop. Parazon attacks were introduced in the Old Blood as a way to mercy kill enemies. This stylish and universal blade has a clear role in all things Kuva Liches and soon to be Sisters of Parvos, but their role in the game at large has been hard to play around. There are problems in need of solving, and this workshop outlines our plans to do just that. The problem with mercy kills is they are hard to pull off, making engagement with the system far too low. Mercy kills only have a chance to trigger when an enemy's health is 20% or less. In practice, you really never know if it's going to happen, and if it does, it is often too late. You've riddled them with status effects, a squad mate casts an ability, or your cavat might be feeling extra bloodthirsty and you cannot get that mercy kill. We are changing their design, adding new mods thanks to the design council, and refreshing the system. The change is based on a core principle. We want to make them more reliable and more strategic so you can actively decide if you want to use a mercy kill or not. Our change is rooted in the following. A mercy kill opportunity will be guaranteed when an enemy gets below 40% health. In the case of Corpus, it'll be 60% health if all shields have been stripped, but only on specific units in each faction. When it comes to Eximus units, you can mercy kill them. However, for Grenier, only heavy gunners and bombards can be mercy killed. For Corpus, Scrambus, and Nullifiers, and then for Infested, only Ancient units. The workshop post explains. The logic is rooted in the following common scenario. Imagine you see a heavy gunner in the distance. You have blood for energy on your Parazon. You see you need some energy, so you start shooting the heavy gunner, knowing full well once she's at 40%, she will open up for a mercy kill and the energy could be yours. You can plan and decide. With this change also means the impact status effect is changing. Before the upcoming update, impact status effects used to increase the chance that the random mercy kill opportunity would happen. As of the update onward, impact status effects increase the mercy kill threshold range on eligible enemies. So instead of triggering at 40% on the list above, you can apply the impact status effect to do a mercy kill sooner. 4% per status proc, up to a maximum of 80%, meaning that applying a lot of impact status quickly makes an enemy VIP more quickly susceptible to a mercy kill. Impact would then be a build strategy for getting VIPs out of the fight. But what about really high levels you ask? Is it not dangerous to allow for essentially one hit kills in our scaling game? Mercy kills at high levels will have an extra consideration. They'll be available when the respective enemy is at 40% health or 25k health, whichever is lower. This only applies for really high enemies in units, for a heavy gunner specifically for example purposes, for this to matter it doesn't kick in until level 415. So generally speaking, 40% will be what you notice, but once you hit level 400 plus enemies, you'll be using health thresholds. Lastly, for the dev workshop, in regards to the Parazon rework, new Parazon mods will be coming with the Sisters of Parvos update. Five in total, two by the Design Council. Power Drain, 100% chance for the next ability cast to gain plus 50% ability strength. Malicious Code, 50% chance for enemies within 15 meters to cower in fear for 8 seconds, and Hard Reset. Execute three Mercy Kills within 40 seconds to revive a fallen Sentinel or Companion. As for those design council contributions for the mods, Swift Mercy, Speed of Mercy kills increased by 50%, and Firewall reduces damage by 75% during hacking. So there you have it. Onward to planning the Era of Mercy Tenno. See you in Sisters of Parvos. That was the developer workshop for the Parazon rework coming with update 30.5, The Sisters of Parvos. We'll be covering the other two developer workshops that go over the Helminth system and an Arsenal divide, which changes a lot soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.